brand new uh, designed 2015 Lance 1575 trailer. It is their lightest weight trailer, their smallest unit. Uh, just an extraordinarily well-built trailer for quality, for lightweight, uh, and for storage and sleeping capacity. I just think it's what a great design they have here. Um, there has been a few changes, so I'll try to point those out as we go. One of the first things you'll notice here is all of the windows. And I'll point those out as we walk through. Big window on the back. Um, this window is the one that's a dual pane. As you open it up here, the window comes all the way out. And you've got three different settings of where to open it. A screen that pulls down or a privacy panel that comes all the way up and clips in. Or you can do it a little bit at a time, half and half. If you wanted a blackout shade but a little bit of breeze coming through. So you've got some choices there. Just wonderful windows and as we go through you can open up the windows on all four sides of this camper. It feels like you're in a screen room. That's what I like the most about this camper. So let's latch that back. We're going to start with walking over here looking at this uh, large dinette that Lance is so famous for in their trailers. If you put the table down, this makes a nice size bed, very comfortable for two adults. Cabinets on the back corner, so you've got plenty of storage. Uh, these LED lights up here, of course, all LED lights inside and out. Uh, these LED lights up here have a dimmer switch. Let me show you the dimmer switch over here. So you can see you can actually dim them down. If you're in a really dark campsite, uh, the lights can be too bright. So I think this is a great feature. Of course, you've got a little storage in these corner cabinets. You've got some wiring running through the back of that one. Uh, these corner pillows pull out, so when you make the bed, they come out and it makes a big flat bed. Uh, cabinets underneath both of these, and you can see in here not only is the packet for the Lance unit with all of the manuals, but you also have the insulated covers for the vents at the top. So it's it, very good in cold weather. Let's see, moving this direction, we've got a two-door refrigerator. It is a five cubic foot. Let's open it up, see what that looks like. You've got a freezer compartment, so you can put, you know, a little bit of freezer stuff up here. Separate it from your refrigerator. Pretty good space for a very small, lightweight camper. Nice upgrade from the one-door refrigerator with a little pull-down freezer. Now, here you have a wardrobe. You could certainly do shelves or you could do hanging clothes, whatever works best for you. Underneath, we have the forced air furnace and, of course, the converter over here. I do see a compartment that I missed. Uh, look back underneath the dinette. I want to show you this only because it's kind of unusual, but it's a nice little piece. You've got space under here for long things. Lots of extra gear can go under here. Okay, let's look back at the queen size bed. This is a 60 by 80. It's a true queen. Windows on three sides. How great. You can lay in this bed at night, open up all the windows, the breeze, the outdoors is all around you. It's really lovely. You do have the power fan over your head so that you can actually create a breeze by pulling the air out like a big attic fan in an old house. There is storage underneath this bed that we'll see when we look through the outside. You've got cabinet access right here to that storage and it has, of course, the, the compartment doors on both sides from the exterior so you can reach it both ways. 22 inch LED television and uh, the, the 12 volt television here will run off the battery so you don't need to be plugged in to have your television to work. The only thing that absolutely needs to be plugged in to work is going to be the air conditioner and the microwave. And uh, the microwave is above the stove here and the 110 plugs. As we move through, let's see. Let's look at this sink space. 
It has the large oversized round sink. This faucet also has the sprayer. Single handle and a big window LED light. Let's look at the cabinet space. And underneath, you've got storage on one side, and then, as in all Lance campers, you've got what they call smart storage, where you've got bins that pull out. And it kind of acts as a drawer. All right. And this particular camper has the microwave option that we pointed out. Put this back over here. You've got a three burner stove, and you have an oven. I love the splash guard that they have right here. It's a really nice touch to keep everything clean. Gives the camper a really nice look. Coming back, let's take a quick peek at the bathroom. It does have a sliding door, slides back and forth. And as you go in, there's a toilet with, to the right, you'll see a little compartment on the floor. That is for your toilet paper, so it is out of the way. Above that, you have the towel rack the medicine cabinet. Let me open this for you. Standard medicine cabinet here. You notice there's a 110 plug right here in the ceiling. If you wanted to hair dryers, anything like that that you need in the bathroom, they plug in right there. Now the shower is on the other side and I'm going to sneak in here really quickly so we can get a shot of the inside outside curtain. This one actually bows in, but when you're ready to use it, you open it up. So it actually creates a nice size shower. It does have the skylight in it, so for even tall folks, you're going to have some headroom in there to work with. You've got the power fan in the ceiling. Very functional bathroom for a small lightweight unit. This trailer, including the tongue, is 19 feet 6 inches long. Uh, the box is uh, a little under 16 feet long. And again, the weight on it is extraordinary. It's the, with the options here, this unit is 29.15 pounds. So uh, 26 on the black tank, 26 on, no, 20, 26, mm, I want to say it's 26 on all three tanks. One of them is 25. I don't know that you'll know the difference, but you've got pretty good tanks here, 26, 26, and 25. Uh, so take a look at this unit. There'll be some other photos at the end if you want to see any close-ups. Let's take a look at the outside. Okay, we're going to take a look at the outside of a brand new 2015 Lance 1575. Now this is the new design that they've come out with, so if you've seen one before, it'll look a little different. Let's start here at the door. We have the swing out grab handle. As you walk forward, this is going to look very similar to what you've seen in the past. You've got the large pass through in the front. Look at all that storage. We'll take a look at the other side where you've got access to the water pump and all the controls. Of course you've got the front compartment for the sewer hose where it goes right in, in here. Easy access there. And of course all LED lights on the outside, the tail lights, the clearance lights, all of that. Um, while we're out here let's take a look over our head. This is going to be the brand new awning that Lance is using. You notice there's no arms, so when you're walking under it, you've got plenty of clearance. Uh, they have added LED lights underneath the awning. Wonderful at night. You get to light up your campsite. A little bling there for you. And it's just like all the electric awnings, it's just a push of a button. You push the button, it goes out. You push a button, it goes in. So at the end, I'll push it in for you so you can see what it looks like and how quickly it moves. Let's move around the front of the camper. Look at this new curved front. You've got a whole different feel on this with the rounded front. Um, we saw the difference on the inside when we looked there. Big window in the front. Of course, this one does open. Opens up so you get plenty of fresh air right from the front. Diamond plate on the bottom as a rock guard and of course a little LED light for your battery, your propane and your electric jack. Push button here so it goes up and down. That's always a really nice feature, very easy to work with. Has a little light on the front. Single propane tank with a propane cover and then of course the battery box 
uh, mounts right behind it. You'll notice back here, this is your battery disconnect switch where you'll turn it, quarter of a turn, and it's gonna disconnect your battery. Very nice when you put it in storage to disconnect it so your battery doesn't run down. Another uh, compartment here for the sewer hose on this side, but some people carry two, you could do that, or you could just use one side, whichever is most convenient. And the other side of our pass-through storage. And while we're here, try to get a look at the water pump, uh, the electrical connections up there, and your bypass. Of course, Lance puts in a, uh, a winterizing bypass here so that you can pull out a hose, put it right into your non-toxic antifreeze, and turn on the pump and have it pump through your system. Nice to have everything accessible. And of course, lights on both sides that you can turn on and off when you get into the compartments. Let's head on down. This is going to be your on-demand water heater. It is a, a tankless water heater that they use in this unit. Outside shower here, handheld that comes out, hot and cold water. This is gonna be your cable TV and your satellite connections. And underneath, of course, your 30 amp cord connection. Let's move around to the back of the slide out. Oh, on the way, more storage. Tons of storage in this camper. It's small, it's lightweight, but lots of places to put your gear. So this is a big wide compartment in the outside of the slide out for you. Along with that big window. The windows here are just amazing in this unit, as I mentioned before. Take a look in here. This is going to be your city connection in your water, and under there you can see your sewer dump connections. Now, in case you hit a steep entry, you out also have the, the little V built in for a drag so that you don't hit the back of the trailer. You'll actually hit that little bar. Anytime you go with a lightweight trailer and you actually get on a steep grade, that can happen, so it's good that that's built in. Of course, your stabilizer jacks here are hand crank. Very simple to do. Don't have to put them down very, uh, very hard. You just want to stabilize the unit so it doesn't move around when you're walking. Another big window in the back, and of course, your LED tail lights. And we're back around to where the awning is. On this side. Oh, I said it was your water heater on the other side. It was your furnace. I am so sorry. Uh, this is your uh, tankless water heater. And this is going to be your 110 plug for plugging in party lights or anything else that you need. Nice aluminum wheels. Just an overall good-looking camper. You've got speakers on the outside for your stereo, a nice LED porch light, and again, this great awning. Before we go, let me push this button, and you'll get a feel for the awning. There's the lights. You can turn the lights on and off depending on what you'd like. And then with the push of a button, the awning comes right back in. Isn't that wonderful? The great part about the awning is that you can put it in and out in just a matter of seconds, so you'll use it more often. It's a great trailer, lightweight, again, only $29.15 for this unit with all the options on it. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call here at Princess Craft. We'll be glad to help you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.